Brian here. It's early October, and for this week's newsletter, we thought we would take a browse through uh, some of the maps that we've just cataloged over the past two or three days, as well as show you uh, some that will be cataloged later today and tomorrow. Uh, we'll just take a brief uh, flip through them to give you a sense of uh, what you might be looking at or for on the website. This is not all of them, it's the highlights. Uh, we've got an 18th century uh, map, an American produced one here of Maryland uh, and Delaware. We have again an 18th century uh, Massachusetts map. We have uh, these, uh, there's a uh, series of two or three of these 17th century uh, German uh, produced maps here of North Africa and Syria. Here is one other, this very nice uh, 18th century, uh, well, actually it's 1800, so turn of the 18th century. There's a couple different states of this map. Um, it's very interesting details. For instance, this reserved for the North Carolina troops uh, is right there. New Jersey Company is over here, uh, and so on. Uh, then we uh, have, uh, coming up, I believe these have already uh, been cataloged uh, so far, uh, this week, but there's uh, a selection of these uh, Jeffries and Kitchen maps here that uh, have just come into our possession very recently. Uh, Ireland, Italy, I think that uh, Persia, yes, uh, these, a lot of these went out just yesterday. In fact, these malls here are very interesting in uh, their early 18th century, around 1726 or so. Uh, there's Hungary, here we have an interesting uh, Hindustan in India, and we got a Caribbean West Indies there. Interesting here, uh, Second Lagoon uh, down here in uh, Spiritu Santo Lake. Hmm. Uh, here we've got a uh, Talus map, uh, Rapkin, uh, Northern India, and here we've got an African map. Appears to be by Bellin. Uh, here are a couple late 18th century uh, Vagondi de la Marche uh, maps here relating to the British Isles. That's the French Republic, the third year, which I believe is 1794 and 5. Uh, goes from September to September, I think it was. This is very interesting. This is uh, engraved by Joseph Scott. It's for Carey's American edition. It's actually an unfolded uh, folio sheet map. So that's a, that, that appears to be original color as well, which is interesting. Here is a Macau Harbor with a little tiny city plan or assortment of buildings here with sounding depths and track of entry for a nautical uh, entry into the harbor and the port. Here we have a map, uh, late 19th century by Bradley, successor to Mitchell of Cuba. And here is one uh, of the state of Florida. It's a nice detailed map here. Uh, around, it says the imprint is 1887, uh, it's Colorado, on the back is Indian Territory, but I think this is slightly later, could be around 1892 or 7, something in there. This is great uh, city plan, the downtown of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, for many years uh, we ran a full-time antiquarian shop in two different locations in this city here. Uh, and now we're just about 10 miles away or so in Dover. And here is a map of the Atlantic seaboard with, of course, Maryland and Virginia. Here are a couple very interesting detailed uh, plans relating to India, Bombay and Madras. Then we get into an assortment of larger folio sheet maps that have just been cataloged. Here's a carry map of France. And here's an interesting George Philip, 1851, of Turkey and Asia, and of Syria, Mesopotamia, Iraq, and so on. And this is an attractive map with original hand color, 1829, by Sydney Hall of uh, Asia. And here is a late 19th century large folio state map with inset plans, Savannah, Georgia. And there's Alabama and Atlanta here. That's a Bradley map. And here's an interesting Stoltenagel uh, Africa map with a little tiny uh, mountain profile uh, comparison diagram at the bottom. Nice detailed close-up showing Bolivia and Peru uh, in the early to mid part of the 19th century. Here is a beautiful color lithographed map of the continent of Africa. And I you know, 
first place we always want to look is we see the mountains of the moon. It's amazing, really, how frequently that mountain range just moves all over the place. They just, cartographers just put it wherever they feel like. It's often denoted as one of the sources of the Nile. And this is interesting as well because here we see the mountains of the moon right here labeled uh, as such in French going right across this whole part of uh, the country right here in the interior. And then we've got this nice George Philip, very large map of northern India with this large detailed inset of Nepal and Afghanistan here. It's a very scarce atlas. This is an interesting folio sheet map uh, from the scarce American atlas showing the continent of Africa. And uh, it's fascinating how someone decided to place the Palestine map at an uh, angle to that. Uh, here we've got Syria, Palestine, Syria, Holy Land. This is a large folio sheet, early 19th century map of the Greek islands and Maria and so on. And here is a uh, Fullerton map from the middle of the 19th century, color lithographed. Uh, and here we have an engraved map from uh, 1830 by La Pie, an original outline hand color. And here is uh, an 1822 uh, Bruet map of uh, Turkey and Asia Minor and Syria. This is an interesting middle of the 19th century Lowry map of what's known as British North America at that time, but Canada to our modern uh, geographical uh, nomenclature. Here we see uh, Australia um, depicted with Alexandra land right here, uh, not seen on uh, many maps of Australia around this time. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, Lake Torrens is often shown as a hook here around this date or earlier, but now we see a mountain range going in this direction. Interesting. Uh, and so this one is uh, Senegambia, the western region part of uh, Africa. Uh, yeah, we see Liberia here, the Ivory Coast. Uh, tremendous number of place names. Very interesting uh, for this date, middle of the ninth, middle of the, the beginning of the uh, 19th century, like 1840s probably, or 50s. And here uh, is a, a map of the continent uh, of Africa. And again, we see range uh, here. But, uh, well, <laughs> on our website, you'll be able to see it with uh, a little more uh, detail and uh, discussion. This is a nice close-up of South Africa. Again, middle of the 19th century. Uh, it's a Waller map, uh, Weller map. And here we've got the entire uh, continent uh, of, our, uh, of our nation. And um, we see here wagon trails uh, going across an emigrant road is labeled as such. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. Oops, okay, and so now we see here uh, this map showing Mexico and the Caribbean, but with this very large uh, inset of the Sandwich Islands. You know, obviously Hawaii, and there's Bermuda, and a map of the Panama Railroad. Uh, yeah, and here is a large Smith map of 1809 of Greece. And we've got a mid-century map uh, by Fullerton of Asia. This is interesting. This has been backed uh, when it was issued, or very, very long ago, with linen. So the map is all but instructable, uh, indestructible today. Then we've got a, a series of several of these late 19th century large, oversized, detailed maps by Bradley of Western states. Uh, there are variant issues of these, and so uh, it would be possible to have uh, different examples with different features on them in different sizes, actually. Uh, Bradley issued their atlas in different size formats um, over a period of years. This is another one here in that same uh, run of those. Here's a large Thompson map of France somewhere. 17 to 20. This is an 1854 uh, La Pie uh, detailed map, South America with Peru and Bolivia. And this is a very large map of the empire of Charlemagne. Again, middle of the 19th century, as is this one here, Expedition of Cyrus the Younger. We've got this uh, large Weiland map of Spain and Portugal from a very scarce uh, atlas. We've got this uh, Brouet map in Le Vasseur, 
uh, of India and Southeast Asia with this small little Cambodia right here, small little Cochin China right there, Empire of Anam here, Burma, and so on. And here we have Upper Nubia and Abyssinia, a profusion of interior details. It's very interesting to compare this to what is actually there today. Uh, I suspect there'd be some variation. We've done a number of these uh, Janssen maps uh, of Poland. I think we've cataloged maybe five or six of them. This is very nice. Uh, Breslau right here, and Frankfurt over here, Dresden here, and uh, so on. You know, it's nice decorative. And finally, we've got this monumental uh, map of sacred geography in the Holy Land. And so this gives you a brief overview of some of the highlights of the maps uh, that we have been cataloging uh, and have been cataloged since uh, we spoke last week. And so uh, we hope to hear from you soon. And thanks for taking a look. And uh, I'm Brian DeMambro. This is all available online.